welcome back to another dream in the woods we are doing sheeting today i uh, just got all the material i milled uh, this late winter over and beth helped me out with that uh, we haven't seen beth for a while for those of you who don't know me i'm beth greg's wife and sometimes i'm behind the camera but usually i'm behind the computer yeah. so today i came out and helped greg uh, we have a big question whether we have enough sheeting, whether I've made enough sheeting. Um, take a look. So uh, I'm going to uh, sheet the, the roof solid uh, with the boards butted up next to each other. Um, main reason, I know that's overkill, but the main reason is that I want to be matchy with the barn. Um, not doing any joinery, no tongue and groove, no lap joint, just uh, tied up against the next board, um, knowing that I'm gonna have some shrinkage and some gaps in the future, but um, that's gonna be part of it. Uh, the pile looks pretty decent, but I'm skeptical whether I have enough to sheet the whole roof with this, with what I have milled here. Uh, leave a comment and tell us if you think this is gonna do it or I'm gonna be short. Let's get to it. All right, this first row is, eh, it's not going to be as easy as the other rows coming up. Um, just because I have to measure everything out, but um, I'm going to put my fascia board flush or to the top of the sheeting. And so this needs to be set back. Um, so it doesn't impede that. Uh, I'm gonna nail most things. Um, and I got a fancy nail gun. I've never used one before. Um, just figured with all the building that we have in the future that it would be a good investment and might as well start learning how to use it now. Uh, It seems fast. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure that other side is flush before I do any more nailing. And I do see one that has quite a gap um, compared to the other one. So um, I might just leave that gap and put a nail in it. And um, it is what it is. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Everything's sitting pretty nice and flat everywhere else, except for this one. Um, but, and it's got some wane there, but there's definitely a gap there. Well, this doesn't seem to be going real efficiently, but, It's working. So we'll just keep trugging along. Um, of course, not all the boards are perfect. So I had to recut that last one because I didn't like the one end. So I think once I have the first one up, things will go a lot faster. getting a bit of a staggered joint going on so I don't have to 
change ladders so often. Um, and then won't be long and I'll have a big enough platform to comfortably work on the deck itself. So that'll be nice. Uh, come along. Um, happy with it. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Getting going on another day on the roof sheeting. Um, just wanted to shout out a little gear and a thank you. Uh, got a new headband there, our dream in the woods. Uh, thank you, Dane and Rachel. I also got a new carpenter's tool belt. Uh, just kind of doing some gearing up uh, for uh, the various projects they got going on. So this is a Perkins Brothers. They have a YouTube channel. Um, it's got a nice spot for your phone. A little metallic thing here. Um, and then I just kind of, they kind of tout it as kind of a narrow one, so it's not too bulky. It's got real nice shoulder straps. So um, trying that out. Uh, so far, I'm just getting used to it. Um, I maybe had one 20 years ago, it's long gone. So uh, just getting uh, used to wearing a carpenter's belt, I think is what it's called, Got carpenter pouch, tool belt, something like that. The other thing I uh, started using that's new to me is this uh, DeWalt uh, framing nailer. Um, of course, I went with DeWalt, so all my batteries are, are uh, DeWalt, so at least now I can just buy the tools only it saves me a little bit of money but that thing's uh, working great um, been using this uh, they have a ring shank two and three eighths uh, galvanized exterior so hopefully that's the right nail for that has to be that 30 degree to run that every time it doesn't work i think i've jammed it but that's always because i've been out of nails and it surprised me so and i've got real Bad knees, um, well, not bad knees, just have a process. I uh, had Osgood slaughters as a kid, so I have a process on both knees that sticks out, so being on my knees is difficult. So I picked these up, um, Husky, Home Depot, uh, we'll see how they do. So found it easiest to go ahead and get a full, I got four different boards going up at one time. Um, try to have it fully lined out on um, both sides all the way through. And then take a measurement from the end to make sure that I'm staying consistent as I'm going up with the different courses. So. Uh, sometimes I'll have to pull the board in or um, suck them in uh, as best I can uh, to try to keep that distance coming up. But it's filling up. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, try to do a course and then take a break. A break, because I get sweaty out here in the direct sunlight. So, but good to see it coming together.
Well, I just got another four boards complete. Uh, have enough boards down there for a couple more full lengths. Uh, problem is, is that some of them I have a full board, but since they're random widths, um, I don't have enough to do a full length of the uh, shed. So anyway, I don't think I'm gonna have enough, but at least I'll be able to use what I have milled up and uh, get pretty close. So uh, hot, well, <laughs> not really that hot, but just hot enough for, uh, at least I'm in the shade now, uh, but it's probably scratching 75 or 80. So real nice day, but just kind of got to drink a lot of water and uh, take some breaks. Well, I got about maybe oh, two thirds done and ran out of boards, but it looks pretty cool. Um, happy with the look anyway, and it sure seems solid up there on the roof, so that's good. Uh, and I already can tell that it's going to just be a nice workspace for sure. What are you doing? <laughs> you see the ladder? Chair. Yeah. Yucky. Yeah, yucky. Thank you. Yeah, is that is that wet? Yeah. Up next is this uh, continuation of the barn foundation. Eric and I are going to work on the piers, uh, setting them, putting the bigfoots in and getting them ready for concrete. There's a lot of pure work to do, 28 plus six. So yeah, lots and lots of work to do there. Um, and so milling the boards for to finish up the sawmill cover, we'll have to wait. Um, but there's some family coming in town. I'll spend some time on the mill with them. So we'll get, get it finished up. I about, got about two thirds of it done with the boards I had and uh, we'll get to it and get it finished up. So appreciate you watching. Hit, make sure you hit like and subscribe and have a good day.